It was the first swell of this year, and we'd always wondered what Jaws would be like if we ever got a big day out there when it was actually glassy, and we just got super, super lucky. The, the winds were in kind of a mellow pattern at that time, and we actually got to see it. It was pretty interesting because it was really small in the morning, so everyone was kind of anticipating it, and then the waves slowly came up, and then in the afternoon it got really big, and it was still glassy, and um, some incredible rides went down. There's a lot of really good surfers there, and it was just an insane session. The wave at Jaws, Piahi, whatever you want to call it, is, in my opinion, the best big wave paddle wave in the world. It's um, just the, sh the shape of it how, it, how it comes in out of deep water and kind of bends up into a peak, and it looms, gets really huge, kind of like a sunset beach, the way it approaches the reef. You know, like the swell hits the reef and really bottoms out and makes the wave stand up really tall. And it's not just a big drop. You don't just get to your feet and ride out. You know, a lot of times it's a giant barrel, and, and you really got to make it down the line quickly, and, you know, it's just super technical, so you see some incredible rides out there. Albie Lair, I would say, was a real standout. He's got really good technical ability, and, and he charges really hard. He gets up on the right pl place in his board, the way he pops up, the way he positions himself, even the way he positions himself in the lineup. It's interesting to see that. Ian Walsh is always a standout, and Greg Long caught a couple huge ones, got that really insane barrel. He's such a good surfer in big waves. Makua Rothman I thought was one of the best surfers in the swell. But there's so many good guys nowadays. It's just, it's hard to name the guys that are standing out in my head, but because there were so many good guys. All those like younger Maui guys that were out there, there was like a dozen of those guys and they're all charging hard. It was a cool vibe out there. Almost all the waves that came in had great shape. It's not like you had to wait for the second wave for it to clean up or anything like that. Every wave that came in was either paddled for or ridden or something. And so that was really unique about this swell and it, and it just kind of like enabled us to all catch a lot of good waves. I had a lot of good waves, I got pretty lucky. I was, I was pretty picky, but my equipment was working well and I was feeling healthy and strong. I've been preparing for the winter for a while now. And it was a good opportunity for me to put things in motion and see how everything was working. And the real standout wave for me that first day and the, for the swell was that one big last one that I got. You know, I'd been surfing at that point for like three hours and I was getting a little fatigued and I was thinking, oh, I should probably go in, you know, and I was sitting out the back and I kind of looked around and there was no one really left in the lineup. So I'm in the lineup by myself and I'm thinking, oh, I, I just need to get a little scrap one in, you know? And next thing you know, that big set came and it was probably the biggest set of the day. I didn't really feel like catching a really big wave at that point. I had, had a great session, you know? I, I was fine, I didn't need to prove anything to myself or anything. And that wave came right to me and I just had, you know, I'm gonna turn around and just have a look, just have a sniff and see if I'm in the right spot. And next thing you know, I just started gaining momentum. And it felt like I was meant to ride that wave, you know? It felt like that wave was like, hey, you know, this is the one got to my feet and let me in. It was real technical. I had to clear a big boil that was coming up the face. It was pretty intense, and, and then it just barreled the whole reef. I wasn't deep or anything, but I was just right in the, the vortex of the thing. It was loud, and spit was flying all over the place. It was just exciting. It was definitely the pinnacle of my surfing career. Of all the thousands of waves I've caught, that one stands out. There's no doubt about it. <laughs>